Hello, my name is Ho Lang Fong. I'm the editor-in-chief of the AAPS Journal and a professor emeritus of the University at Buffalo. Today, I want to share 10 useful tips with you on how beginners can write a publishable scientific manuscript. The tips that I'll give are also applicable to term papers and reports as well. Before we get started, I would assume that the science involved is publishable because it is novel and significant. Here, we only address the techniques and process of writing a manuscript. Remember, everybody writes differently, so find your most effective routine and use it. The first step is to pick one or two target journals in which you want to submit your paper. Remember to read the instructions to authors carefully and comply with them. There are many factors to consider which journals may be appropriate for you. The uh, impact factor, your mentor's recommendation, its reputation, as well as whether papers of your kind has been published in a journal before. Next, begin your writing process by organizing your thoughts. Organize them in terms of talking points, either in bullet points, a flowchart, or a diagram. This way, you could follow your thought process as you proceed with your writing. Three, realize that the order in which you compose your paper is different from the final order of the manuscript. Organize your figures and tables first, then write the other sections after them. This way, the rest of the paper will be consistent with your thought process. Four, when you start writing, use simple sentences and make sure your tenses are correct. Keep that in mind when you're proofreading as well. Avoid flowery and self-congratulating languages. Use one idea per sentence and use the passive voice in your writing. Five, remember, good writing comes from rewriting, at least for most of us. Revise your draft several times and make corrections in each draft, including transition, structure, and flow of the manuscript. Six, don't plagiarize. You could see the definition of plagiarism is to pass off others' writing as your own. You would know that almost all journals now use high-tech software to detect plagiarism. Seven, after you finish your first draft, start the process of proofreading and revising. Do this over and over again. A good manuscript can go up to maybe a dozen drafts when it is done. Eight, when you're ready to submit, have others read over your draft before you submit the paper. Consider their suggestions and criticism. Even if you don't agree with them, make sure you consider them because then you can anticipate the potential critiques that could be levied against the manuscript. Nine, when you receive comments back from the reviewers, don't fight with them. Find ways to accommodate their suggestions and recommendations. Be responsive to their criticism. Your goal is not to win an argument. Your goal is to publish a paper. Finally, point number 10. Don't get discouraged if your paper is rejected. Many classic papers have been previously rejected. It's OK to be emotional after the rejection, obviously, is understandable. But you could only do it for a day or two. Then start to improve the manuscript objectively. Identify weaknesses, consider new experiments, and new conclusions. With these 10 tips in mind, I wish you good luck and good writing.